Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we now pretty much know who is going to be the top four individuals at the New York Pro. I just released the video, the first call out, and of course Dorian Haywood, not Hayward, I apologize. I know it's Haywood, I just, you know, you make mistakes. It's Haywood, Haywood, Dorian. Anyway, as good as him and Hassan, Colonel Mustafa are, it's down to these guys. And they did a final call out. And we're going to take a closer look at the top two. And Nick Walker, guys, he looks so good. I don't know if Justin Rodriguez is going to have enough to defeat him. I don't know. And there was a, a certain problem we will discuss in one of the back shots as well. That we're going to see that may, uh, may pose some difficulties. Now, Nick does have a uh, his lag is unsymmetrical of course is his right quad a little bit smaller you might notice and Justin Rodriguez he looks better as far as that's concerned but he does not have the muscle separation Nick has and that freak factor Nick's a beast go to the front lat spread now I would say Justin would have this one on his silhouette alone but he doesn't have the best I guess front lat spread in the world and Nick Walker this is the front lat spread guys Tilted a little bit dustly are these pitchers, but you can see conditioning. You can definitely see Nick Walker. His muscle separation is on another level, guys. So whether you would give this one to Justin Rodriguez or not, Nick looks better in the, as far as conditioning is concerned. Side chest development. And another one, the, the camera angle. Definitely going to play some tricks on us. Justin's quads, you know, his hamstrings, glutes all look good. All look good. But even in the the first video, I showed screenshots, which were not the best quality. But you could see the silhouettes a whole lot better. And I think Nick Walker just has Justin's number. And I do believe I did a comparison with the Chicago Pro as well. And I thought the same thing. I thought Nick Walker, Nick Walker was robbed. He didn't get a whole lot of good comparisons against Justin. And dare I say, Justin, he doesn't fare very well against a beast like Nick. Side tricep as well. I think Nick Walker is going to win this show hands down, guys. So it, uh, I guess my first initial prediction was correct. But the Eye of the Tiger report kind of said Nick was scared. But I guess you can't, you can't be brave without fear. But I just honestly thought Justin looked a little bit, you know, he looked very casual in a sense. Dorian Haywood course i don't think he's going to be able to crack any of these two guys go to the back shots and this is the problem that i was telling you guys about poor poor justin and this could affect all of his poses if your back's kinking up you can see he couldn't open up on the lat spread and he did originally if you watch his original his first front lat spread it was incredible actually it was good if you watch the, the live stream, things of that nature, if you were watching the event. But then when they did the comparisons, boom, he kinked up. And again, on the one-on-one -on -one comparisons, I thought maybe he would have fixed it. Nope. And that can affect your whole makeup, guys. Can't flex as hard. Oh, what a poor guy. Rear double bicep. And I'm sure Nick Walker would be the first one to be upset about this. Hey, he wants to beat somebody. He wants to beat them at 100%. 100% no excuses. And... I gotta say, I think Nick would have had Justin's Rodriguez's number anyway. Even if he had that exact same version from the uh, Indie Pro. I think Nick Walker just has it, guys. This is a perfect shot. Lower back, upper back, arms, glutes, legs, even calves, guys. Nick Walker has it. He even has a fantastic little haircut. You can see the hair pointing up a little bit. But anyway, go to the abs and thigh pose hate to joke around at a serious time like this i'm sure justin rodriguez is backstage you know maybe getting a massage or something before the the finals i don't know you'd have to get a deep tissue massage you know what i'm saying guys get that kink out of his back oh what pain what pain it would cause abs and thigh looks good but nick walker looks twice as diced twice as separated of course you can see that quad most muscular and what can i say guys if you're gonna make a prediction video 
got to do it before they come out, first of all. But now that you can see the two guys, I think Nick Walker, he is, he's more separated. He's, he looks bigger. And he just looks all around better. So, I hate to say it for Justin Rodriguez, because I honestly was rooting for the guy to win. I, I like Nick Walker, too. I was rooting for both of these guys to win. But, Justin, this is five times he competed in this event. And gosh darn it. He plays second, I think. Maybe even once, once or twice. I don't know. Anyway, guys, it's a Nick Walker event. And... Unless they're going to really focus on that quad, which I can't, I can't see it, guys. I can't see it. Not after that minus a point in the rear lat spread, things of that nature. Anyway, guys, that is, that's it. That's pretty much it as far as I'm concerned. Nick Walker, New York Pro Champion. I will let you know the official results after the finals. Stay tuned. Have a great day, guys.